Right now, there's a Twitch streamer getting tomatoes thrown at him all across Twitter for a clip that's going viral of him having an embarrassing and horrible response to one of his community members answering a question that he asked them. In Spanish, and it's chef's kiss. All right. Curvy, where the fuck have you been? Oh my god, we'll tell you what, Miss Dirty Curvy, you know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna talk about it in my chat. Cause it's Friday, and that is a whole big bucket of bummer. And his response is a big barrel of butt cheeks. So to give context to this situation here on the lore, uh, this was a regular viewer of this streamer, an avid supporter, who had taken a bit of a hiatus, and was unfortunately going through a very hard time with her mother passing. So, when he saw that she was back, he asked her, Oh, where have you been? To which she just answered, honestly, but I, her mother had passed away, so, you know, it was a bit of a tough time, that's why she was taking a, a break. And then for some reason, this must have input a cheat code into the streamer's brain that just sent him into, like, debate club. He, for some reason, then just goes into, like, this TED talk about how you shouldn't answer his question if your answer is something sad, because it brings down the vibes of the stream. It's baffling, because you had asked her, and she just answered your question honestly. Uh, I'll play a bit more of the clip before getting into it, but I want to make it clear early on that I understand a lot of streamers have a similar perspective where you don't really want someone in chat that's just talking about like a really traumatic experience they're going through because it's not really the place for it and the streamer's not the therapist. Like I do get that perspective, but there's a difference between like just a random person treating Twitch chat like it's their psychiatrist and you asking someone a question and them answering honestly, especially when it's a member of the community that you already kind of know to a certain level. I think I don't understand why you're all of a sudden getting mad at them for answering that. And I'm sorry for your loss, but we're not doing that in my fucking chat. Uh, thank you. Well, okay, Mr. Dirty Curvy, you said, no, that's fine. You asked, so I told. No, I didn't ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer news in the world. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. When something really, really bad is going on in your life, and in a public forum, someone asks you, hey, what's up? How are you? There are two acceptable response, uh, responses. Good, and you know what? I'll make it through. That's it. So you want to just talk to NPCs that only have two dialogue options, okay? Then why bother trying to communicate with a human being? Like, okay, give them a script. Make sure your community has the acceptable answer script to my stupid questions. I don't actually care where you've been. Like, just tell me one of these two canned responses. Like, this is so fucking dumb. And I also love the audacity. Let me give you a lesson here on how to handle my questions going forward. It's just so laughable that he's acting like some kind of social savant here about how to handle public conversations and what you're allowed to say. You're a fucking Twitch streamer, man. All of us uh, as streamers are not exactly the most socially gifted. Like, let's just face the facts here. So why are you trying to act like the authority on the matter here as if you're some kind of social guru who's now giving a lecture to your community about what is and is not allowed in a public conversation? It's fucking goofy. It's very silly. How are you? Good? Or, you know what? I'll make it through. Awesome. Love to hear it. See, there you go. Or prom's response. I, yeah, I said prom, how are you doing? She says, I'm alive. You know what's just as easy as those two responses is you being able to respond with some level of empathy like, oh man, that's terrible, I'm sorry to hear that. Or damn, that's awful news, stay strong. Or man, shit, that's terrible. Hopefully today's stream can lift your spirits a bit. Like you also have equally easy responses to like, instead of dwell on the, the negative here and for some reason try and shame her for answering your question, honestly, you could have just as easily had a very simple and empathetic response to it and, and moved on from it. But instead, now you're putting all of it on her and blaming her for bringing down the entire atmosphere. As if she somehow forced you to enter your, your goofo mode here, your insano style tantrum that you're throwing. Like, it is your fault. You could have either not asked the question if you didn't want, like, real answers, or you could have had some level of empathy and just given, like, a general, decent response, like, damn, awful news, sorry to hear that, stay strong. And then just go about, like, a good vibe stream. Like, it's just, it's super easy. Oh, I asked you where you were. Look, Mr. Curvy. all I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that unloading really heavy news 
in people's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. It's just, it's not the place to do it. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Heavy news like that, when someone asks, hey, where have you been? You don't need to tell them, well, my dog died, my husband left me for a younger woman, my house burnt down, and my car got stolen. So I've been a little bit busy, that's why I haven't been around. Cause it's like, oh God, like, ugh. Oh God, your bad news is making my easy job just a little stressful. Cause now I've heard your fucking bad news, like, ugh. Like, can you have some level of shame? Can you stop having bad things happen to you and then share it with me when I ask? Like, fuck. God, where do you get off? It's What a stupid perspective, bro. What are you talking about? That's not even what they did. You asked them a question and they gave a simple response to it. Now, for a little further context, she, in her first response, accidentally led with, like, a laughing emotion so she led with like lmao because she was responding to like a joke he had told and then answered his question about her mom passing away she she got a little concerned that it was going to be misconstrued like she was joking about that so then she clarified again that no like it, it's just been a rough time it's just been horrible so she said it like twice or three times in total but it was never to dwell on it or try and treat him like a therapist or treat chat like it was a self-help subreddit or something she just answered his question but didn't like her first answer because she thought it might get misconstrued so then just said like no it's just been bad and that's where that's where it was she didn't try and like keep pressing it further or anything for some reason he did he took it and ran with it and made it an overwhelmingly negative thing and then shamed her publicly in front of the entire community for it which is so fucking weird and terrible thing to do. Now, like I said in the very beginning, I do understand the perspective of not wanting your community to treat it like it's a, like a therapy session where they're dropping really heavy things going on in their personal lives into the Twitch chat or asking you to solve the problems for them. I do agree that that is just not the time nor the place and that's not going to help the person either. That's not going to help them or anyone else around you that needs like professional help and someone to actually be there and qualified to give real helpful advice to that person that's struggling. And Twitch chat is the last place you'd want to go for anything real. So I do agree like that is never a, a good case, like that's never a good situation to be in, but that's not the situation this streamer was in. He had asked a community member that he knew a question and it was a personal question. Where have you been? Now I'm waiting for your answer. And they explained, well, it's just been a bad time because her mom had passed away. And that's it. She didn't like keep going forward about it, like to, to try and like make it all about what she's going through. She just answered his question point blank. And for some reason he went off the rails about it. Oh, uh, like, you know, like if, if someone asks like, hey, what's up, where have you been? And it's heavy, just be like, I had a bunch of shit going on. So I've been lying low for a little while. Got it. That's it. <laughs> I'm not trying to rip you a new ass. Yeah, not trying to rip you a new ass. Just trying to embarrass you in front of the entire stream. Um, the lack of self-awareness here, buddy, that is kind of exactly what she did. But instead of just saying, I've got some shit that I'm going through, so, so I was lying low. She said, well, family member passed away, so I was lying low. That's it. She didn't continue to like go through the, the nitty gritty on everything that happened. She did almost exactly what you said, but was a little more specific on exactly what that shit was. But in essence, it's the same thing. Would you have still melted down if she had said, I had a lot of bad, horrible things happen, so I was laying low for a bit? I don't think so. You probably would have just given a normal, like, decent human response like, man, sorry to hear that. Hope that shit clears up soon. Why couldn't you have had that same level-headed, rational response to her just being a bit more specific with what that horrible thing she was going through was? She, again, she didn't just dump everything on you and expect you to, to you know, like, coddle her or, or do something special. Like, she just answered your question. So this is where the viral clip ends, but he did have a response to this, and it's really worse than you're probably imagining but before getting to his response i want to hit you with a bucket of cold water to shock you with some statistics here 93 percent of all twitch streamers pull less than five viewers so anything more than five immediately puts you in the top 6.7 percent of the site these are old numbers too these are from 2021 so i imagine this has only grown so why am i bringing this up well, because the streamer who right now is catching more tomatoes than the goddamn Heinz Ketchup Factory is not a huge streamer. At least not by most people on Twitter's definition of a big streamer. He has around 55 average viewers, and to put that in perspective, 
that does put him in the top 1% of Twitch, at least based on the numbers I'm seeing. Because again, the vast majority of streamers are streaming to actually zero people. Crickets. You have better luck getting your old high school classmates to watch your Facebook live stream than you do getting found on Twitch and starting a community from nothing. So everyone that's just writing him off as a nobody and fuck small streamers who cares what they are saying or what their opinion is, I hate that perspective and I will always hate that perspective. The, the mentality around numbers is so, like, fucked up these days that they can't recognize how big of a number 55 average viewers is. Like, yes, it's not the biggest streamers on Twitch, but that's still a pretty large number when put in perspective with how big the market is and how saturated it is. But this ties into the bigger point I want to make on the back of those numbers. The market being as saturated as it is, carving out a community being as tough as it is, the last thing you want to do is fuck it up. Which is exactly what this guy has just done. He's currently streaming right now with like 140 viewers, which is more than he normally averages. But I imagine the majority of this is hate watchers hoping to just shit on him in the chat. And I've already seen it from a couple of his subs. Some people were saying how disappointed they were in him. And that's a really big deal because when you have a really tight-knit community, once the viewers start feeling like you don't actually give a fuck about them at all or that you're kind of a piece of shit they probably won't stick around because there's so many other streamers that they'll just go to. So this will potentially end up being a huge problem for him. His first response was this on Twitter, where he's just taking full responsibility for being an asshole, which I guess is fine, like he's just saying, yeah, this was a real piece of shit here. But then 12 hours later, he made an apology video and doubled down on everything from his initial Twitter clip. Firstly, it is well known in my channel that I do not tolerate heavy news, drama or trauma uh, dumping, if you will, being entered or dropped into the chat. This has been discussed and explained and made clear many times while I've been live over the last four plus years that I've been on Twitch. The people that come to my channel often, they know this. They see it all the time. Um, so that's something that I want to make sure everyone understands. He directly blames her for violating his terms of service for being a chatter, basically, saying, I have very strict rules, you're not allowed to kill vibes with bad news or anything drama-related or heavy. Okay, then don't ask questions that could potentially lead to, like, someone being honest with you, man. Not everything in the world is going to be sunshine and rainbows. So why ask a question to your viewers that they might just be open about if you don't want to actually hear it? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, and why are you blaming her? You're fucking blaming the victim here in this situation. What a terrible look. When you had already in your previous tweet sang a very different tune. Where you're like, yeah, this one's kind of on me. I was a douchebag. What changed? All of a sudden now, you, what? You woke up this morning and you feel like you're not a douchebag. You're a superhero. In fact, she's the villain because she didn't follow your, your strict chat rules. This is not the first time that she's violated the expectation that people not share heavy news in my channel. The frustration from having her argue in chat that she was, quote, just answering my question, even though she's been spoken to about this type of thing before. Calling this an apology is a disservice to apologies. He is literally just justifying his reaction and saying it's all her fault. She violated our expectation of her in chat and then said she has a history of doing it. And in her statement, one of her twit longers, she clarifies a bit deeper on what he's talking about. And he's pretty misleading with the way he portrays what happened here. Again, you asked her a question, she answered it. So the quote, I was just answering your question, is very accurate, because that is all she was doing, man. Frowned upon. Aside, dude. Aside, dude. dude, I'm getting follows right now. Aside, From Joe JCKS, bro Chacho, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the follow. Yeah. He even acknowledges that maybe he should edit that out and then decides not to. He should have edited that out. That's a, what a big yikes moment there. In your fucking apology, not an apology, in your, your blaming, pointing the finger video, you get a, a follower, take a moment to say thanks for the follow and like just call out the follower during this. What a bad look. How could you not recognize that as a potential problem? But regardless, the... the the actual video he has made here is not a good response. It is somehow even worse than the initial one with the doubling down and trying to justify it. Like, just have an obvious common sense level-headed response like, yep, 
I overreacted. This was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I don't even know what I was thinking. I must have just been in a bad mood. Like, like it was just so easy to move on from this. But instead, you doubled down. And now you look real silly for it. That's about it. See ya.